Compared to its predecessors, the new systems in Fallout 3 are much more flexible and allow for more changes during a character's development. For instance, tagging a skill no longer increases the rate of a skill's development, but skills gain their maximum effectiveness and cap out at 100. Additionally, while the gifted trait, along with all traits, has disappeared, primary attributes are simultaneously less important and easier to acquire as your character grows. Players who played the previous two games should also keep in mind that the special system in Fallout 3 is much more forgiving when compared to the first two games. Low ability scores penalize the player less, while high ability scores do not grant as much a benefit. Where in the first two games lowering a special stat to 3 or lower could be a risky move regardless of your character type, characters in Fallout 3 can get away with special scores of 1 in particular stats. For example, a character with one intelligence will find most character interaction in the first two games impossible, while in the third you simply sacrifice a few intelligence-dependent conversation options and some skill points. Traits were removed completely, with some traits from previous games having their negative effects removed and being changed into perks.